Hi everyone, me again in Smyrna, Georgia on a lovely morning. It's Monday and I've got my buddy Steve with me as you can see. We decided we'd go for a little ride before it got too hot today. Just going to ride around the neighborhood a bit. And as Steve would likes to do, uh, he'd like to share a little bit of wisdom with you. Uh, you know, Steve is not native to uh, America. He is native to South America. And uh, he is not illegal. Don't uh, get the wrong impression. Steve came here legally. Uh, you know, he uh, came over on a banana boat just like he was supposed to. But he, uh, well, maybe not a banana boat. Anyway, Steve's got his green card. Looks a little bit like a leaf, but, you know, he, he says this is a green card, so he's okay. Anyway, he's been reading about the history of America and looking back and some of the great men that helped form this country. And one of the one of his favorites was a gentleman named Ben Franklin, an inventor, scholar, ambassador, president. Uh, really, you know, he was the, the guy who did it all. And uh, he had a lot of really good wisdom to share and uh, Steve embraced one of the things that he said. And what uh, Ben said was, be slow in choosing a friend. Be slower in changing. And I guess to put that in other words, uh, you know, take your time and pick your friends wisely. And once you have a good friend, don't let them go. I think that's what that means. I've been real lucky. I've got uh, two really good friends, I guess you'd say. Well, I would say they're my best friends. They're, uh, I've known one since I was four years old. I've known one since I was about 12. Um, and uh, we have uh, always kept in touch. We hang out. We do stuff together when we're in town. We all live in different towns. I'm here in Smyrna. Uh, my buddy Chris is in Charlotte. My buddy Jack is in is in uh, Moncure, North Carolina, which is just outside of Pittsburgh. And we, we, uh, I do get up with them occasionally. Uh, I don't see Jack as much as I'd like to, but uh, uh, I do see Chris a good bit when we go up to Charlotte. But uh, we're all good friends. I wouldn't give them up for anything in the world. They're the kind of friend where you'd come bail them out, and uh, really they're the kind of friend where you'd help them bury the body. So, anyway. So that was number one on Steve's list. Another one that he came up with was by Charles Schultz, you know, the creator and drawer and the fellow who drew uh, the Peanuts cartoon. And he said, uh, learn from yesterday, live for today, look to tomorrow, rest this afternoon. And I couldn't agree more with that. And I think Steve is, that's just all about Steve. Steve is all over that. You know, there's uh, the older I get, the more I love a nap. But naps are just so great. Uh, in fact, they're so good, they kind of come on me whether I want them or not now. I can be sitting there doing something I want to do, and the next thing I know, I'm waking up. <laughs> my wife will say, well, you're back. <laughs> and I go, where the hell was I? And she said, well, you were taking a nap. So, but Steve's the same way. Steve likes to sleep a lot. Uh, in the wild, uh, Steve would, have been, would be sleeping 20 hours a day. I think here it's probably closer to 24. It's hard to get this guy up for anything but a ride. So, and you know who knows? You know, watch him careful. He could close his eyes sometime during the ride here and go to sleep. So, you never know. But anyway, Steve wanted to share his wisdom. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day, and we'll let it go with that. Everybody, take care. Bye bye.